What's up guys, it's your boy Christian here back at you for Sneaker Talk with a brand new vlog. We are here in North Hollywood, California. I'm joined by the homie, Legit Vlog. What's up y'all, what's up, how y'all doing? And today, we are going to battle. We're going at war. We did this in San Antonio, and it's been a while since I've done this last time. The last time I did this was actually with the real Ray Ray 20, or you know, Tom from Winnipeg. This is a sneaker battle. Now, if you guys don't know the rules, we basically go to three different locations. We take three different sneakers. We do a sneaker poll on Instagram to decide who sneaker was the better selection out of the two. And we also ask you guys in the comment section down below. And also have a poll come up throughout the YouTube video, which you can click on and tap on your phone. If you are watching it right now, I want to vote alongside the video. So today's video will be over at Ross. Now, you guys know Ross if you watch Tim's channel. Tim is like the self-proclaimed claimed Ross boss. Not self-proclaimed. So, it's not, not self-proclaimed? Not self-proclaimed. Oh, I never snap. called myself the Ross boss. Okay. They ever. called me the Ross boss first. So yeah, we got the Ross boss. So we had to go to Ross today. We're on our way to one right now. It's about three miles away. So it's about a 10 minute drive. And guys, California has been a vibe. I went to VidCon for the first time ever. If you guys don't know what VidCon is, it's this like video creator convention. And I had so much fun. I met a lot of people. I got to hang out with a bunch of the homies from Team Albo, um, Swayze Baby, it's your boy, uh, Chad with the J. Woo, jeez, Tim. Those, those California drivers, man, <laughs> they'll get you every time, bro. So, man, I also got to hang out with, uh, you know, Tim. Tim's all right. Um, I got to hang out with Christian Frugal Aesthetic. You guys know Christian. I also got to hang out a bunch with Pokimane, too. So, I definitely want to go to VidCon next year as a feature creator. I just feel so inspired after going to VidCon. I've been blabbing on for long enough. Let's head over to the first Ross location, get the sneaker battle underway. Hairy leg gang. All right guys, so we just made it to the very first Ross location. Now, one thing I really like about these kind of videos is I get to show you guys what sneakers are at the Ross. So maybe you can maybe find them in your area too because a lot of the Rosses carry the exact same sneakers. So this Ross is really dope. It actually has two floors. The first floor is all women's stuff, and the second floor is all men's. I've never seen a Ross with two floors. Hopefully this means something good here. All right, so right now, me and Tim are gonna split up in this Ross, look through all the sneakers that they have here. I'll show you guys some of the best finds that I can find. Then Tim's gonna pick his sneaker, I'm gonna pick my sneaker, and then we're gonna battle it out. show you guys the best sneakers that I found at this Ross location. Now I'm a size 10 personally so of course we gotta start off with the size 10 kicks. First up we got these all red Puma suede and it's only going for $29.99. Next up we got some Jordan Futures right here. I think I remember selling these back at Full Locker when I used to work there. It's this gray colorway. Got silver aglets on the lace tip. Really nice detail. These are very comfortable sneakers but honestly they're just not my style and you guys know if you've been watching my channel for a while I'm not too big of a fan of the Jordan 11 so it's gonna be an easy pass anyways these are going for $55 right now it says comparable to $112 we got some Adidas Alpha Bounce for $49.99 I'm not too crazy about the way this one looks I'm a bigger fan of the engineered mesh materials you can't go wrong with the classic low top Chuck Taylors in this red colorway always in season $29.99 this might be one of the best finds here I think this is the KD8 I'm not too sure it's like this Grinch colorway or Barney colorway these are going for $49.99 down from what it looks like to be $120 now I know people are going crazy for the Air Jordan and Levi's collaborations there's that black and white one coming out very very soon those look awesome I would love to have a pair in my collection let me know in the comment section down below right now which Levi's Air Jordan for you guys like the most the blue one the original the the black or the white pair and I'll try and get a pair we might be able to do a giveaway and if enough people comment down below we'll definitely run a giveaway but I mentioned Levi's and Air Jordan because they actually have these like Levi styled vans right here with this like black faux leather upper for $20 down from 30 oh baby we found the Adidas ZX flux or ZX flux for my Canadians in this like white colorway with mesh and they got gum bottoms I've actually never seen this colorway before for $45 this 
is a really good price. Triple red Adidas Alpha Bounce. And this is the kind of upper I like, the engineered mesh. Now, if you guys haven't seen my review on the Adidas Alpha Bounce, I definitely recommend you guys check out the review. I highly recommend the sneaker. I think you can find a lot of them on sale, just like these, on sale for $50 at Ross. But there's a lot of colorways available, so there might be something that suits your style. Cheetah Print Puma Clydes. I'm not too crazy about these ones. Blue Nike Flights with that like UNC blue going on. We got the cement print going on as well with that midsole. Has the same uh, outsole as the Jordan 4, I believe. Nike Air on the back. Here's the bottom of it. Pretty cool looking shoe. I'd probably be into this if I was like 13 or something like that. I found some really dope Pumas right here. The Puma Sugi Netfit, I believe, in this black and red colorway. I think this might be the pick I go with. I really like this colorway. This is only going for $30.99, reduced from $44.99, but this was going for a lot more in stores. I think this was like an $80 or $90 sneaker at like Full Locker or Champs. Found another colorway of those Pumas, this white and blue colorway. This is actually perfect for the summer. Looking fresh. How much are these going for? $42.99. Mm, not too shabby. Black Victor Cruz, size 9.5. These are now going for $54.99, regularly priced at $100. I'm a huge fan of the sneaker. Feel has also been making a pretty big comeback over the last couple of months. They got some white with red bottoms. Feel is right here. Ooh, turquoise hit as well. Pretty cool shoe. Let's see, going for $23.99, originally $34.99. And this would have been about 50 or $60 at retail price. All right, guys. So for the first round of this sneaker battle, I am going with the black Victor Cruz right here. Love these things. And Tim, Tim, what are you going with, I'm man? going for something newer, you know what I'm saying? Something that barely came out, but is already in the Rosses, man. Mm. And I was just talking to my audience about this. Like, when I was a kid, we had to, you know, save up for the newest sneakers. But the Paul Georges, like, didn't they just release, bro? It hasn't even been too long. Yeah, I think they're still putting out colorways. And they're still the putting store. out colorways. But yeah, yeah you can come get them at Ross for like half price, man. Jeez. That's what we call steals and deals. So for the first round of the sneaker battle, we have the Paul George ones versus the Victor Cruz. I'm gonna post this on my Instagram story right now, and uh, we will see who wins this at the very end of the video. All right, so we're inside the second Ross for round number two of the sneaker battle. Gonna start things off. We're starting off in the size 13 section because uh, it's on this like random wall. Tim's going in right now. Ooh, get it, Tim. Get it. Get it. What do you find, Tim? So first of all, man, we got the off-white blazers, and no, they're not like off-white, like Virgil off-white, but they are pretty off-white color. I mean, if I do say so myself. Second of all, we got some D roses up in here for forty-five dollars, coming in clutch for the basketball season. Next up, we got the all-red Alpha bounces, like the last Ross you guys already saw, and uh, this is a one of my personal favorite finds here at Ross. The uh, the boot, the Chuba, the Chu boosts. The Chubus? The Chewbacca boost, bless you, man. Bless you. It has the Chewbacca <laughs> material on here, and you got a little bit of the uh, Adidas boost, guys. So I think they're fresh, man. I don't know what it is about this location, but there's like no sneakers in this store. Like, look, all these shelves are so empty and barren. What gives? So uh, we're gonna have a hard time finding some sneakers. But with that said, let's start hunting. Yo, this is crazy. They got size 17 Kobe 9s. These things are bigger than my face. This purple colorway, pretty dope. Going for $39.99 and down from $140. But yeah, guys, this location is trash. We've been looking around here for like the last five minutes and we can hardly find anything. It's so, so bad here. Managed to find some Puma Clydes in this like red reptilian colorway with some gold accents on the aglets as well. Pretty clean shoe. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we found them, guys. Check this out. We got that new Babe Crocs camouflage collaboration right here with the Californian palm trees. This is straight fire. I might honestly have to buy these right now if they have my size. What size are these size? Oh, size 42 and a half? Oh, I might have to grab fam. Got some Puma Fenties right here from Rihanna's line, her collaboration with Puma. Not too crazy about these. I can understand why these ended up at Ross. Definitely not something most guys can pull off. You have to have a very specific style to rock these. These are going for $44.99. I didn't think I'd have to resort to this, guys, but I'm gonna have to ask Tim, the Ross boss, for some help. So Tim, what did you find, my dude? What What's up, find? man? All right, so I just wanna say for the record, all right, your boy Christian, Sneaker Talk CA, walked straight past these shoes, but your boy with his Ross boss senses walked back and I found some heat for y'all today. So we got some pure boost ZGs in here in this dope orange colorway, Ooh. but not only are they boosts, not only are they comfortable pure boosts, but they are reduced to a price of 23 
at 99 now. That what? is what we call what? my channel steals Damn. and deals, man. Right here. Boom. That's crazy. You got it for the Lolo, man. We got something dedicated to LA. Shout out to Los Angeles. The Kobe Bryant shoes. Now, let me hit him with the backside tone real quick. Right. Bam. Ooh. Right there. Ooh. These things are so fresh in here, bro. Like, I cannot even comprehend. Like, like what? What even, bro? Like, we found these in Ross. Like, you're telling me when you go to school rocking these, you found those in Ross, son. And you're going to say, son, I've been stealing deals all day. And it is Pride Month. It's really surprising to see these at Ross. Some Puma Clydes with this rainbow midsole. You don't see that too often, guys. That's pretty crazy. And all the shoelaces, look. It honestly looks like a confetti. They got rainbow shoelaces. I can explain those in one word and two numbers. Takashi 69. So now it's that time of the vlog where we're going to both select our sneaker for the second round of the battle. So uh, let's see what Tim has and then I'll show you guys what I got. Here is the second round. I went with these Kobe's right here. Tim went with the Pure Boost ZG's that he showed you guys earlier. So I just uploaded the photo to Instagram story right now at Sneaker Talks. Yay. Make sure you guys follow if you haven't yet already. And uh, we decided to raise the stakes. We're going to have a prize for the winner and the winner of the sneaker battle will get to hack or, you know, tweet whatever you want off the other person's Twitter account at the end of the night. So hopefully I win so I can embarrass Tim. But uh, yeah, let's head over to the next location and hopefully it's better than this one because this one, not too good. This is like a very nice neighborhood. It looks nice, it looks safe. Like this would be an ideal place where I would wanna live. Like this Ross looks awesome, bro. I would be hitting up this Ross all the time and you already know, man. So we are here in Glendale, California now. Apparently DDG lives here, one of Tim's favorite YouTubers. And this little plaza we're in is pretty dope. There's a Nordstrom rack behind me. There's a Ross behind me and a TJ Maxx. So we're gonna complete the third battle for the Ross sneaker challenge right now. And uh, after that, we're gonna swing by the Nordstrom rack as well and TJ Maxx and see what they got there. But for now, let's get inside Ross for the third battle. So just like the, uh, I think, first Ross that we were at that had two floors, this one has two floors also, but this one's got an escalator, so that's pretty dope. So hopefully Ross can redeem itself at this location because the last one was like not good at all. And even if this one's not that good, I'm still excited because after we're done here, we're gonna check out the Nordstrom Rack, which is gonna have some pretty good stuff from what I've seen on other YouTube videos. I know that Eddie Wynn Kicks has been there in the past and there's usually some pretty good like designer stuff and pretty stylish stuff there too. Let's start digging through these steals and deals at Ross and uh, see what they got. Size 10 section, here we go. We got some uh, Puma suede's right here in this like blue colorway with this like weird red uh, thing on the laces. I don't know what this is, it's like a shoelace garment you could say this is going for $29.99 down from $60 some adidas pro models right here in this tan colorway pretty cool we got some more puma sugi shinseis i believe in this like beige colorway going for $42.99 down from $75 got these adidas gazelles in this like light blue baby blue colorway not too uh not too exciting especially because there's this giant blob of dirt on the toe box I'm not sure what the price is because the sticker is actually like melted onto the shoe. Don't know what happened there, but that's going to be an easy pass for everybody. Hey, we got some triple white Nike Cortez here at the Ross for $29.99. Comparable at $65. Really clean. And wow, there's like not really any dirt on these shoes. Usually triple white shoes at Ross, they're pretty dirty. So I think I'm going to go with these right here. The triple white Cortez for my sneaker pick for the last battle. Let's check up on Tim and see what he has. Ooh. Ooh, I think I spoke too soon. Found a pair of Nike Dunks here. Ross has them in this white and red colorway. It looks like a pretty big size, possibly size 13 or 14, maybe even 16. Nope, yep, size 16. $45, comparable at 70. Love this colorway. So uh, I'm gonna have to go with either these or the Nike Cortez for my option for the battle. Yo, Tim, you won't believe what I found, man. Check this out. Oh my gosh, bro. That's perfect for me. Thank you. How'd you know? I just I yo. How did you tell. know, dog? <laughs> so what shoes you find here, man? What shoes you find? All right. So today? so far, there's a lot of Nike Air Pythons, but dude, these Adidas slides are straight fire, bro. Ooh. Straight fire. And you know what? I really want to pick these up. They're only seventeen dollars, and I think that they would make a pretty sick Gucci custom. So we might just have to do that. Oh my gosh, bro. What? 
they are so comfortable, dude. <laughs> like, honestly, way more comfortable than my Gucci slides. Yeah. To be honest with you. Yeah. Dude. All right. So you can grab those ones, Yo. and then you can donate the Gucci ones to me. For sure. So, yeah. Yeah, dude. yeah. Why not? They're they're back in Texas, though. You're gonna have to go back for them. So, jokes on him. I'm coming back in July. So Tim's gonna show me the pythons he talked about earlier, and then we're gonna get to the third round of the Ross sneaker challenge. So, Tim. Take it away, bro. All right, man. So basically, I think we have like three different pairs of pythons here at this rod. So first of all, we have this colorway. Now, this one's a little bit kind of girly-ish, I would say. So not really my style, but this is the first pair of Nike pythons. This colorway is completely Ooh, wild. This reminds dang. me of like a safari adventure. You know what I'm saying? Like, I love this colorway because it has gold in it, but it still is a little bit too crazy for me. So I'm going to have to pass on those as well. The Nike pythons, they're cool. They're different. They're creative, but... They're just not really like practical to wear on a normal day, I guess. And last but not least, oh, you know what? It's the same colorway as the first colorway. <laughs> so yeah, man, I guess th this this reminds me of really, really feminine. I don't know. It reminds me of like the glitter and, you know, just something like a chick would wear. So I kind of, not my style. All right. And for your third pick, your third pick for the sneaker battle. <sighs> Here we go, man. Be? It's going to have to be the slides, bro. The just slides. something practical. Okay, okay. Something lit, something dope. I don't know, man. We're going to see how the people are feeling because it's not a sneaker. Yeah. Does it count? There's no rules against picking slides, so I think right. we can get away with it this let's, time. Let's try it, bro. Let's, let's try it. By the way, like, what did you pick for your sneaker battle? Let me show you right now. All right, Tim. So this is what I went with. Okay. I went okay. with the classic. Something pretty classic, yeah. practical. Nike Cortez, triple not white colorway. Hey, not bad. Can't go wrong with these in the spring or the summer or any time of the year, really. These are really clean. Pretty so nice. Let's but throw these on the Instagram, but what? But I really feel Tim? like I'm going to win. I don't know, man. I really feel like Yo. I'm gonna win. Let's see. I'm gonna I'm gonna talk some smack on his Twitter think. after. Actually, I'm gonna get him block. I'm gonna get him banned on Twitter. Let's see. But uh, yeah, we're gonna take the photo right now for the Instagram story. So here's round number three: the Adidas Slides versus the Nike Cortez. Let's vote for me, of course. And uh, ooh, looking pretty good right now so far. Okay, okay. So that's gonna wrap up our time here at the third Ross location for the sneaker challenge. Now we're gonna head out over to TJ Maxx and I think the Nordstrom Rack to see what's good over there. So we're inside of TJ Maxx right now. It's another two floor store and I'm trying to find the sneakers. Having a hard time right now. All right, so it says the shoes are in this yeah. corner of the store, yeah. but it looks like it's only woman's shoes. I can't find a single pair of men's shoes in this entire store. So TJ Maxx is definitely an L, but we can redeem ourselves with Nordstrom Rack. So let's check it out and see what they have. There. We will be closing early for inventory on Monday, June 25th at 6 p.m. All right, that is a, that's a shame. That's two L's back to back. So we're gonna head back now to North Hollywood, grab some dinner, and that's gonna give us some time for the results and votes to come in for the Raw Sneaker Challenge battle. So let's head back home and then reveal the results. So let's head back home and then we will reveal the results for the Sneaker Challenge battle. By the way, if you guys wanna vote right now in the comment section, you can comment down below who you think won each sneaker battle or won the battle overall. All right, we're back home in North Hollywood, and mm, my dinner looks delicious. We got some steak, we got some rice, we got some green beans, we got some clam chowder soup, we got some Fortnite on the Switch. Tim's playing some Fortnite on uh, the Xbox as well over here, so we're probably gonna run some duos. I'm gonna have to carry him. I got you, Tim, I got you. So I'm gonna finish my dinner real quick, and then we're gonna do the results for the sneaker challenge right after. So now we're back at this new Airbnb, and we're gonna show you guys the results of the Ross sneaker challenge. Tim, how are you feeling about the challenge, man? I'm feeling pretty confident, honestly, you know what I'm saying? Ross boss not self-appointed, but it is Christian's followers too, so I have a feeling whatever my boy likes is something, whatever you guys are gonna like, so I don't know, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. So, starting off with the very first Ross, we went to, I think, my favorite Ross location ever because they had two floors mm -hmm. and the sneaker selection was pretty good they had so, a lot of sneakers what was your favorite sneaker there if you can remember it was the Paul George one the Paul George one yeah, and yeah. that's the shoe Tim chose for the first right. battle and let's show you guys the results right now Tim beat me with the Paul George ones 67 percent to 33 so Tim you took your first W there that's you good. go now on to the second Ross I found this Ross to be pretty crappy there wasn't much selection there mm -hmm. I think we spent the least amount of time there but you did bump into some subscribers while we were there I did yeah yeah that was pretty some dope. love out here in Cali yeah so Tim ended up picking up two sneakers which uh we used for the battle for the second battle so Tim went with these right here this orange pair of ZG pure boost or ultra boost 
I went with these Kobe's. And for the second round, I beat Tim 61% to 39. So now we are tied at one to one, and now we can get to the final sneaker battle for this Ross sneaker shopping challenge. I like sneaker shopping with you, man. We gotta do cool, it some man. more. We gotta do it some more for Let's sure. Up, I really uh, didn't think that uh, people would choose Kobe's over the boost, but uh, I guess I was dude, wrong. Kobe's, I was Kobe's got the legacy, man. That's people crazy, love bro. Kobe, so. Over the boost, Over bro. the boost. So let's get to the last battle. There's no hype at all on these last two sneakers. We have me with the Nike Cortez triple white colorway, and Tim went with this triple black colorway of the Adidas slides, and I won that one 61% to 39. So that means, that means I won. I won, Tim. How does that make you feel, bro? Makes me feel terrible, honestly. I can't let my title go. Okay. Here's the thing. When the Golden State Warriors beat LeBron, they can have that crown for a minute. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> but at the end of the day, the crown's still gonna go back to LeBron, so congrats. Thank Congrats you. for now. Thank you. There's your video, you, my you. boy. Shout out to Christian for taking that dub today. So uh, I'm sorry, Tim, but now I gotta I gotta hack your Twitter account. Do you remember the prize? No. The prize? <coughs> I don't remember that, bro. So the prize was I, I get to I get to hack your Twitter. No, bro, no and way. Send out a tweet. There's no yeah. way I'm gonna let no. this man touch I'm my phone. phone. I'm There's no phone. way I'm gonna touch my phone. So if you guys want to see more Ross videos, Tim does a bunch of them. He's like pretty much known as the Ross guy on YouTube. Wow. So I'll, leave him, I'll leave him linked in the wow. down. So I'll leave him linked in the description down below because they got the Ross Boss title for now. For now. But anyways, we'll catch you guys in the next video. And uh, yeah, peace out. All right, Tim, give me your phone. Give me your phone, Tim. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did make it to the very end of the video, comment down below what I should tweet from Tim's Twitter account. I can tweet whatever I want and he can't delete it for like eight hours or you can be a man and keep it up. It's up to him, but comment down below what I should tweet from Tim's account and if you guys selected the right winner for the sneaker battle. Anyways, I'll catch you guys in tomorrow's video. It will be a Hype Beast outfit challenge video, so make sure you guys subscribe with notifications on. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.